asked a question about Ruth Buzzy. Now, I don't propose to answer every question <laughs> that's asked. That's asked. And, uh, Ruth. Well, how do you like it? Well, now, that has to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Well, the dumbest thing I've ever seen is a man trying to smoke a buffalo. No, I mean, it's not. <laughs> that's dumb. That, that's... <laughs> not as dumb as that. Now, what possible reason can a person have for wearing a suit of armor today? Well, I could have several good reasons. Yeah. I could be wearing it for a friend. Yes. I could be the world's worst high jumper. You probably are. <laughs> or even the world's lousiest cat burglar. Makes sense. How about a giant percolator? Oh, come on. Fancy garbage can? Look. Step on my foot. See if my head opens up. I'm going to... <laughs> Now, what, what did you buy a thing like that for? Well, I was going to go skin diving. Well, it's a good thing you didn't. You'd have gone right to the bottom. Wasn't well, that where you're supposed to go? <laughs> huh? well, just take it off. What do you mean, take it off? What, do you expect me to enter the contest without a suit of armor? What contest? Well, the Wilbur Nern Memorial Porcupine Catching Contest. <laughs> the Wilbur Nern. Who was Wilbur Nern? Last year's winner. Oh, and it's a memorial, is it? That's now, why it. would anyone want to enter a porcupine catching contest? Well, for the prize, mostly. What's the prize? Well, it's a fabulous, fun filled week in the intensive care ward of the Mayo Clinic. <laughs> It'd be a little hard to catch a porcupine. You think that's hard? Try letting go of oh, one. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do after you catch one? Well, you try to make it to the ambulance before you lose consciousness. Does everybody in the contest wear one of these uh, suits of armor? Nope. Last year, some nut tried to do it nude. Mike, who yeah. was he? Well, nobody's found out yet. You oh. see, he uh, ever since then, he's been just running around in circles, screaming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just run around to the quickies. <laughs> Uh, Miss Wagner, would you uh, step in here a moment, please? Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, would you take a letter? Of course. Now, personally, that doesn't strike me as very amusing. <laughs> hey, do you know what you get when you cross a dentist with a kleptomaniac? Huh? Well, you get a professional man who'll steal your eye teeth. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Buddy's Toy and Trick Shop. Hello there. Uh, I bought this as a 25th uh, wedding anniversary present for my wife, but she didn't care for it, so I'd like my money back. Oh, yeah. Well, what is it? Uh, well, it's one of those, uh, you know, those uh, water faucets that you stick on your forehead, oh, you know? It, it, dude, see? it looks like this. Yeah, uh, uh, and she didn't... No, Oh, well, by all, no, here's your money back. Oh, thank you. Would you sign the refund slip, please? Oh, hi, what did you do there? Here, just take that. Oh, thank you. By the way, our jackpot is now up to the $50,000 limit, so the next call will be to my mother. I'm, I'm, re I'm, I'm really angry now. Oh, well, can't I'm you take... I'm angry. Take a little joke for here. Have a glass I'm of angry. water. You'll calm down and you'll feel... But I'm angry. Have some oh, water. Oh, I met a girl last night and fell head under heels in love with her. Or I'll call the Better Business Bureau. Hey, for heaven's sake, you want to call them? Call them. Use my phone. All right, fine. Thank you. Hey. Right. Oh. 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 And now, preceding Yolanda and her flaming bear, here's our special guest of the week, the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. No, that's a different one. Yeah, shake hands. That's a good deal. Oh, oh, this whole thing is ridiculous. I'm never going to shop here again. You. I've got a very important mission for you. I want you to get these plans across the enemy lines. Think you can do it? Sure, I'll make it. Close. Very close.
patriotic. He'll admit Columbus was Italian, but he says his parents were American. Mm -hmm. How much is that 1938 penny? Uh, that's a quarter. Okay, I'm going to take it. Oh, good. Hey, this is a 1932 quarter. How much is it worth? $16,000. I'll take it. Oh. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Now, what do you need a horse for? Well, you wouldn't send a knight out on a dog like this, would you? <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. 